Hello, in this video, we will share what are some of our renovation regrets and things that we might have done differently in hindsight. Let's start off in the kitchen. During the design phase, it was more important to us to have an open space for the dining area where we can see what is going on in the living room from the kitchen and service yard. For example, we wanted to be able to wash the TV while hanging our clothes so that it feels less of a chore to do housework. While these grand plans did materialize with the open kitchen concept, it also came with its own set of problems. One regret is that we might have opted for a closed kitchen instead of an open kitchen concept. We do not cook a lot and very often, but when we do, the cooking films will invade the whole house and it takes some time for it to dissipate. If we had installed a door that can be closed when we are cooking, it would have been easier to get rid of the smell by opening the surface yard windows and improve ventilation. Our temporary solution now is to light up a scented candle after we cook. This video is brought to you by Home Trust. Home Trust is Singapore's trusted community review site which offers advice and feedback for homeowners who are looking to renovate their homes. They provide authentic reviews from hundreds of homeowners who have personally gone through the renovation process. From the Projects and Ideas page, you can browse through many renovation projects done by different interior design firms. The renovation costs for the projects are clearly indicated, so you will have a clearer picture of what your home can possibly look like with your desired budget. If you are overwhelmed, don't worry. You can simply click on the Get Recommendations button right at the top, choose the style that you like, select some design features that you want to have in your home, and then indicate some basic details of your property and budget. Home Trust will recommend suitable interior designers to get in touch with you to help you create your dream home. Check out the link to Home Trust in the description box below to kickstart your renovation. Another renovation regret is not having separate workstations in the study room. When we first moved in, we planned for this room to be a flexible room that can be repurposed for different needs depending on what we need at the time. Thanks to Apple Desk Plus and Ergotune, we managed to have a home office makeover for the new year. Now that we each have our own desk and chair, we have a lot more space to play around and it also makes for a more comfortable setup to maximize productivity when we work. The table size of 120 by 60 cm is just right for one person. The monitor arm with a laptop holder allows us to have more tabletop space. We can also organize the desk with a pegboard, a shelf and an under desk storage. The Ergotune chair can also be customized to fit our body posture so that we can work longer while sitting comfortably. Another regret is not having more countertop space in the kitchen. Our kitchen countertop space was allocated for food preparation, but after we moved in, we realized that we also want to put the air fryer in the kitchen, but that would mean taking away space allocated to prepare food. The alternative will be to put it at the dry pantry, but that means the cooking fumes will be even closer to the living room, which is not very ideal. Perhaps we could have installed another row of countertop with bottom storage space opposite the sink area. Or we could have added a movable island that is more versatile and can be used as both a food preparation area and a dining space. Being the noob cooks that we are, we now have a deeper appreciation for countertop space in the kitchen. It is very likely that there will be more appliances that you will want to have in the kitchen than you have the space for, so it might be a good idea to prepare in advance. One of the definite regrets we have is underestimating the value of having drawers in the kitchen. After we started using the kitchen, we realized that the cookware and appliances are not easily accessible. We have to bend down and stretch in order to reach the inside corners of the cabinets. This may not be very safe for older folks and may risk an injury. It will have been better to invest in drawers for the kitchen cabinets as it is more practical in the kitchen for convenience. Having drawers also make it easier to organize the contents without needing to purchase additional organization shelves to create more layers to utilize the space. It also looks neater and is easier to clean. The next regret is also related to the kitchen. As you can tell, we are super inexperienced in the kitchen department. 
we got a kitchen hood that has a chimney and this actually takes up a lot of space that can be converted to more storage for a more efficient use of space. On hindsight, perhaps we could have gotten a slim hood instead. The distance between the hood and hob is 65 cm currently and the hood works best when the suction power is turned on to maximum. Maybe the suction power would have been more efficient if it was a shorter distance. We recommend to do more thorough research into the hood and hob in terms of the brands, different configurations and understand your cooking needs so that you have a setup that works for you. We chose a 3 burner hob as it seemed like a good use of the space but in actual fact, we rarely use all 3 at the same time and mostly just use 2 of it. Nevertheless, we still like the induction hob as it is easy to clean and the flat surface looks neat. For the living room, we might have gotten a sofa that comes in a material that requires lower maintenance and can be easily wiped down or washed. While we love the fabric so far, we also have a constant fear of dirtying it. So far, we have been very careful and have not spilled anything on it yet, but we will never know when accidents happen. We have purchased sofa covers to protect it, but it is not the prettiest look. For our next sofa, we will probably place more emphasis on the durability and ease of maintenance of the sofa material. Another regret is we could have gotten a Wi-Fi enabled storage water heater. The water doesn't heat up as quickly as we thought it would even with the titanium heating element as advertised. It would have been much better to be able to switch it on remotely so that there will always be enough hot water when we need it. First world problems, we know. In our previous homes, the storage heater heats up almost immediately and rarely has any downtime. But our current heater takes about 15 minutes to heat up enough water for a 10 minute shower. We are not sure if this is normal or is our previous storage heater the anomaly. Do you guys also face the same issue? Do leave a comment on your experience. Another luxury item we would have considered will be an automated laundry rack. The HDB default drying rack has worked well for us so far and has not caused any problems. Just that when we came back from overseas and had a lot of laundry to catch up on, it took a few weeks to finish doing all the laundry because each batch of clothes required 2-3 to three days to dry during the rainy season. We have also heard of cases where the rack became faulty after a short amount of time. It also makes us wonder how durable this laundry rack really is. We were also hesitant to change out a working laundry rack for an automated one as we were not sure if it is a worthwhile purchase. If you have an automated one, we are interested to know if you found it useful or is it just a hype. We also have a regret related to the sliding door. We opted for sliding doors instead of casement doors for our wardrobe. This is because we have lived with casement doors our whole lives and wanted to try out sliding doors. The disadvantage of this is that only one of the three panels can be accessed at any one time. So you will need to keep sliding the doors back and forth if you need to access more than one panel, which can be quite annoying. Another thing to note is that the doors will not close properly and will slide out of place if the panels are not leveled properly. The installer had to come back and readjust the screws because of this. Other than this little inconvenience, we think that the black glass wardrobe still looks pretty sleek and fits in well with a modern theme. Another sliding door we have in the house is the master bathroom door. We picked a white frosted glass as we wanted the room to look airy and have light pass through. However, we missed out that the light will also shine through the glass door at night from the closed bathroom windows. So if you need absolute pitch darkness to fall asleep, this will definitely interrupt with your sleep. These are the 10 random regrets we have. Do share with us your experience and comment down below if you have similar concerns. Thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.